double exposure photos in Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. If you are visiting for the first time, thank you for stopping by. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe. If you're returning, thank you as well. Today I'm walking you through how to create double exposure photos like these right here using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. I'm walking you through the web version, but you can also do this on the mobile version. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is the home screen for Adobe Creative Cloud Express. If you have not been here, you wanna check it out. It's express.adobe.com. And here I'm going to start by clicking on that plus sign here on the top left, and we're going to choose custom size graphic. Doesn't matter what size you use. This is a personal preference. I usually go with the Instagram portrait size and click on next. And then you have basically a clean slate here. And what we're going to do is import an image that I took of myself. We want to create this double exposure and I'm going to import this from my desktop, but you can also import from Lightroom, Google and other drives. Let's go ahead and locate my photo. And this is the one that I'm going to be using. I took this in the studio. And one thing that I recommend if you are using your own photo, you want to make sure and take your photo behind a white backdrop. It just makes it easier for Adobe Creative Cloud Express to remove the background, which is what we're going to do next here. It just makes it easier. It makes a clean line, a nice contrast from your pose and the backdrop, just like you see here, it did a great job. And now the next thing I'll do is click on done here. And what I want to do is click on the background here and make sure that you choose white. Now it does look like it's white here, but we just want to make sure this is the white. Perfect. You want to make sure it's a complete white and not off white. It makes a difference for this double exposure. I'm going to increase my size here. I want to fill in the screen as much as I can, bring it down just a tad bit. And the next thing I'll do here, just before I forget, I'm going to name my project. I'm going to call this double exposure. And I'm going to name it. Let's go back. Hyphen number one, just in case I create multiple ones. That's a tip I usually use when I create projects, multiple versions of the same type of project. I'll call it double exposure dash zero one and zero two and so on. So that's a little extra tip there. Before I continue, I also want to give a shout out to Rosie Rowe for the inspiration to create this video. She shared a post on the insiders group on Facebook and I thought, hey, that would be a great video. So thank you, Rosie, for the inspiration. The next step is to import a photo that we'll use for the double exposure. So we're going to go to the photos button here and you can see that I have my Adobe stock photos. These are photos that I've already searched in Adobe stock. You can scroll through all different types of thematic photos. What I'll do is click up here at the top where it says search Adobe stock. There are over thousands and thousands of photos that you can use for free in Adobe Creative Cloud Express. And I'm going to type in sunset and I'm going to find one that's got some really nice colors that will contrast well with my photo for this double exposure. And I like the photos like these right here that have a nice, uh, variation, or I should say nice colors like the sun and the blues here. But I think I'm going to go up here to this one here. It's got a really nice purple, orange, red tone to it. So I'll click on there and I'll bring this one in and let's increase the size. We want to cover my face or I should say my photo. We'll go ahead and close this over here. And now what we'll do here is we have these options on the right side, so you can edit the image. Now we're not going to remove the background. We're not going to add to the background. What we're going to do here is we're going to come right here. There's a blend mode option. And what you'll do is choose the screen option. And there you go. Now, just to show you what multiply does, multiply would just make it more contrasty, but we don't want that. We want to go to screen. And there you go. Now you can do this with the photo that you just used for screen. You can do some enhancements to that photo. And so for example, if I go really high contrast, notice how the purple kind of stands out. Maybe do some really high saturation because I want some of that color. Yeah, that looks pretty cool right there. 
maybe bring down the brightness a bit, shadows, because I really want that photo to really contrast with my photo here for that double exposure. If I sharpen it, no, we'll, we'll leave it in its normal state. All right, I think we're pretty good there. Now, what you'll do is just kind of move this around. You can see as I move this, here, look at that. I'm gonna move it back and there's my photo. I like that right there. Really cool, there you go. That is the double exposure. Just to show you, we're gonna click here and look at our layers. There's our photo. This is my cutout. And just to show you what happens if I move my cutout to the front, basically I've lost my double exposure. So the key is to have your photo below the photo that you imported for that double exposure. This photo up here at the top is the one that's going to create that exposure, double exposure look. And remember to choose screen and there you have it. Then you just click on download as a PNG, JPEG, or you can download as a PDF photo if you wanna print it out. And there you have the double exposure effect in Adobe Creative Cloud Express. And now you know how to create double exposure photos. So go ahead and create one yourself. Be sure to tag me if you share this on social. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace.